New controversy concerning the coronavirus pandemic. A Miami private school now says it won't employ teachers or staff who get their COVID-19 vaccine. The Center Academy in Miami sent an email to parents calling the vaccine an experimental drug. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live at the school in Miami with more. Brooke, good morning. Hey, Maribel, good morning. In that letter to parents, the school said this was not an easy decision to make. They said after speaking with some of their doctors, it is now their new policy to not employ anyone who gets that COVID-19 vaccine. Here we have one of the most powerful tools in our arsenal to protect ourselves and get out of this problem. And they are discouraging the, the use of it. It's, it's tragic. Tragic is how Dr. Eileen Marty, an infectious disease expert, responded to a letter sent out by the Sentner Academy. In the letter, the school in Miami discourages teachers and staff from getting the COVID-19 vaccines or to wait till the end of the school year, and that legal action would be taken if they lied about it. It's egregious towards anyone who wants to protect themselves from this virus who would be employed by them. In the letter, the school claims tens of thousands of women worldwide had adverse reproductive issues like miscarriages just by being near someone who was vaccinated. There is nothing infectious in the vaccine whatsoever. And the type of immunity that they induce in no way affects anything to do with anyone's fertility. The school on North Miami Avenue also claimed it spoke with medical leaders about the vaccine and called it experimental. The author has a very um, primitive understanding of what a vaccine is uh, and really no understanding of the scientific process. According to the New York Times, which did an article on the Sentner situation, faculty were told to fill out a confidential form answering whether they got the vaccine, which one, and how many doses. It threatens legal action for lying. This is a private school. It's not a public school. So generally, a private employer in Florida can fire someone for any reason or no reason at all. Employment attorney Carter Sox with Gallup Auerbach says firing someone for getting the vaccine is legal in this case, but there appears to be some recourse if fired personnel want to fight it. There's a potential for the teachers to say that this rule would discriminate against them based on a disability. So they may say that they have um, a serious medical condition that requires them to get the vaccine. The United Teachers of Dade released a statement about this decision last night, which read in part, these schools, speaking of the Sentner Academy, not only teach misinformation and peddle propaganda, they punish teachers, it says, who try to protect themselves and their families. The statement also says we are horrified by the unsafe conditions and labor violations that colleagues at schools such as this one have to endure due to lack of union representation and contract rights. As for the school itself in that letter it said that they are making this decision because of those supposed unknown effects to anybody who could be near someone who just got that COVID-19 vaccine. For now I'm live here in Miami. Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 This Morning.